Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to your viewers of Iqra International. You're watching Ask the Sheikh. I'm your host, Brother Moses San Antonio from Australia. And we are discussing the topic of the power of your lords. Uh, we have uh, joining us via Skype uh, a guest uh, from Pakistan. Uh, we have Brother Inamullah Mumtaz, uh, who is the president of the Quranic Da'wah Center International uh, in Pakistan. So inshallah, he will be joining us now via Skype uh, to discuss with us the topic of the power of your Lord. Uh, Brother Inam Allah, Salaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. May Allah reward you for joining us. Uh, so we're looking at the topic of the power of your lords. Uh, and as far as I understand, you're uh, very knowledgeable, you know, with the uh, comparative religion between Christianity uh, and uh, Islam. So perhaps you can, you know, share with us a little bit about you know, the, the, the topic of the power of your Lord between uh, the Qur'an and the Bible. A'udhu billahi min shaitan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim. Ya ahl al-kitab, lima tuhajuna fi ibrahima, wa ma unzilat al-tawrat wal-anjilu illa min ba'd. Afala ta'qilun, sadaq Allah ar-rajim. Qala rabbi shrah li sadri wa yasir li amri, wa ahlu al-uqdata min lisan yaftahu. Qawli. Respected viewers and brother Musa, it is a privilege that you people have invited me and given me this kind of latitude that I can share my views with you. The ayah in the beginning was actually pertaining to this subject, the power of God or we can say that the concept of God is a synonymous term from which I can see that. The ayah I read in the beginning was actually from Surah Ali Imran chapter 3 verse 65 Allah says that why are you disputing regarding the stature of Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him can't you see that Torah and Injil was not revealed at his time? They came after him. So don't you have any sense? Allah said, don't you have any sense? And after that I have read the dua of Prophet Moses from Surah Taha chapter 20 verse 25 to 28. The power, the concept of God. What is the concept of God? Christians, the Christendom for 2000 years more than that, they are saying that Jesus is the part of the Trinity. So that is their concept the figment or whatever you want to say. What Allah says? Allah says in Surah Ikhlas chapter 112 that God Almighty, you cannot even make a figment of God Almighty. Whatever you think about Allah is not God, any mental picture, it's still your figment. But you cannot understand God. Whereas Christians say that Jesus came down, He died for our sins and on and on. So. What is the glorification? I am asking these Christians that if you want to kill God or you want to spit on God's face as we read in the Bible that alleged crucifixion, the events of all these things that they are spitting God, they are spitting at God's face and that is what they are saying that this is the glorification. Whereas Allah says in the Holy Quran that Allah doesn't beget. He doesn't need anyone that you know to go in mother's in for any woman's womb and making her impure for 40 days or more than that God doesn't do that. So in Islam the concept is very clear that Allah is one. The fundamental teaching of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad the ayah in the beginning is actually denoting to this fact that there was not iota difference that Allah is one you cannot comprehend you cannot make the image of God and this is the highest concept of God. There are 99 attributes given to Allah with the necklace Allah 99 attributes that he is Rahman he is Quddus, he is Malik, but he is not this and that. Meaning you cannot make God as a human, like God incarnate. So this is blasphemous in Islam and in natural religion of Allah, Allah never comes down in any form. It is the Hindu's form or you can say anthropomorphism or you can say pantheism. But in Islam we are told that Allah is one. You cannot comprehend his image because Allah has, has not given us the power of comprehension that we can think about Allah. It will be always mutashabihat. Allah says in Surah Ali Imran chapter 3 verse number 7 that this Quran has been divided into two parts. One few verses are muhtamat meaning you have to pray. Meaning you have to do this and that. Commandment. Okay. And another verses are mutashabihat meaning the the, which you cannot, the things which you cannot comprehend and you cannot understand. But when Krishna said that Jesus came down to this earth as God incarnate then he must have told you everything but he didn't 
his his physical powers are weak he is just like a man why i am discussing jesus christ because this is the concept of christianity and christians are more than 2 billion right now and this is what they are telling are they interesting in the muslim similarly islam is interested in them because islam is a natural religion so the concept of allah is very clear sanskrit and ambiguous interest is spoken in the holy quran not the confusion like trinity you cannot understand 3 in 1 1 in 3 you want to if you understand good if you can't then do your business whereas okay. jesus is god according to christians so this is the concept of islam very clear that allah is one and you cannot understand when you will die allah will open all the unseen knowledge Indeed. May Allah uh, reward you for that dear brother Inam Allah Mumtaz from Pakistan are contributing to the topic of the power of your Lord. Uh, inshallah. May Allah bless you and we hope inshallah to see you on another occasion. Jazakallah khair. Okay, so that was brother Inam Allah Mumtaz, the president of the Quranic Da'wah Center International in Pakistan, uh, joining us on the topic of the power of your Lord.